Hello everyone, I'm here to show you a haul from my mom's house. I have mentioned in recent videos that I was busy helping my parents move and I mentioned that she, every day when I went over there I came home with stuff. It wasn't all stuff I can use for crafting, but I was accumulating quite a pile of stuff that I can use in my craft room. And I jokingly said in one of my videos that I could do a haul from what I brought home from my parents. But some people said that they would be interested in seeing, so here we are, I'm going to show you. I started bringing everything in here, uh, and I'm pretty amazed at how much there is. I hope I can get it all <laughs> in one video. I'll try not to linger too much over things. Uh, my mom is a painter. She paints figures, and she paints on glassware, and she does paintings, and she would sell them in craft shows. She no longer does the craft shows. And I could not believe how many paintbrushes she had when I was helping her clean out her craft room. Um, I just couldn't believe how many paintbrushes she had. And they weren't a lot, a lot of them weren't even open. So she gave me paintbrushes. So I have quite a collection of paintbrushes here. And then she had, um, she sold jewelry too. I did not know she made jewelry, but... I think she bought components and then kind of put them together, but this looks like real jewelry crafting. So this little kit came with things, wire and beads, and I'm not sure how much of the stuff in these boxes I'll actually use. And there's one box missing, but I thought I could at least use the container, and I have to go through the the boxes better and see exactly what's in there. I opened them all and I didn't really see anything that I would use those beads probably, the pearls, but there's some chain. I might use that, but we'll have to see what all is in there that I can use. And then uh, she gave me some folders. I told her not to throw away the file folders because I can use them. I make tags and whatnot out of them. Also, these old papers that they receipts and invoices from when they remodeled uh, back in 1970. I thought I could use them as backgrounds for um, collages and art journaling with these cool old receipts. This one's 86. And there's a blueprint plan of the garage. My dad built uh, a second story on their garage and that's where my mom painted and my dad had a room up there. It was like a second little house there. That's why they had so much stuff. We had to clean clean that out too. Their second little house. So these are really nice, neat little drawings. So I asked my mom for that. And she gave me bags and bags and bags because she did craft shows and so she had stacks and stacks of these. We kept finding these little gift bags that she would put small pieces in when people bought them. And then these larger brown bags. I didn't take them all. I couldn't take them all. I just took some. And there's some more of those little sacks. And then there's lots of these little, a couple of different sizes of these. And I can certainly use those for the ephemera that I make and sell. So, there's some smaller sizes and bigger sizes. So there's a bunch of them. And then there's also these little drawstring sacks. So I can also put my homemade ephemera in these. So when people buy them, they can get, get them in a nice little surprise bag. I don't think that I would use those drawstring bags <coughs> too much in junk journals. I know I think I have, and I know other people do, but it's not something that I would probably do too much. Oh, this is stamps. My mom was a stamp collector for years, and she didn't give me her albums of stamps, but she gave me a, quite a few stamps. These are all stamps from Guinea that's sealed shut. I have to open it. This is American Glass. Isn't that pretty? This one says Ma Mongolia, Liberia. So there's some on these sheets, and most of them that she gave me are in this box. They're loose, they're in glassine bags, they're in Ziploc bags. Look at that. What a treasure trove. And she said she doesn't care if I put them in my books, because I told her 
if you give me those stamps, they're just going to end up in my junk journals. And she said, I don't care. But I think she's going to try to sell the albums on eBay or something. And then uh, there was this game called Scruples, and I took the cards out of it before it went in the trash. But I had to go through it and get rid of a lot of the cards because some of them were a little bit risque. But I thought that'd be fun to put in a junk journal some questions. She also was very good, well is, very good at needle, all kinds of needle crafting. And she did some quilting many, 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 many years ago. I don't think she ever completed a quilt, but she, um, this one is machine stitched. I have this log cabin pillow top. She did complete a pillow, but this is one that didn't get completed. So I only have one of these, but I have a bag full of these. Grandma's Flower Garden, and these are hand-stitched, and there's a lot of them, and I already used two of them. You may have seen the videos um, for these fairy, fairy journals that I wrapped these things around the cardstock for the covers, but I don't think I'll use all of them, and she gave me, she did a lot of uh, cruel work and embroidery, so she gave me her boxes of some really nice floss, so I can use these as fibers for tags, it's lots of different colors, it's good quality fiber, and these are little cloths for cleaning brushes, so I'll use those when I'm painting or using art, doing art journaling. She gave me this pair of little pinking shears. She had several styles of these because she raised uh, my niece and so she had a lot of crafty stuff from when Grace was little. But I only took this one pair because I like the pinking edge. This, my dad was a machinist and so look at that fat book. Let's see how wide that spine is. That's a th almost a three inch spine on that book. Machinery's Handbook, and I thought these little graphs and things would be really cool as backgrounds in collages, and of course I won't use this many pages, so I may be um, putting them in packs, in some ephemera packs that I do in the future. This was a really good find. I remember when we were young, we went camping. Our vacations were always camping vacations, and we went to uh, White White Face Mountain, I think it is, uh, in the Adirondacks. And I remember that. And they had these from way back then, when I was a kid. So Santa's Workshop, the North Pole. I remember going there. I remember going to Storytown, the Enchanted Forest, Fort Ticonderoga, White Face Mountain. That's where we camped, right on Whiteface Mountain. I don't know if we went to Frontier Town. I don't really remember that. I don't know if we went to the Air Force Museum either. These are just, we did go to Howe Caverns. So look at that, Gaslight Village, Lake George, New York. So these are really cool, especially since they're from when we were there when I was a kid. Postcards, such fun. So I'm going to have to make myself a junk, lots of postcards here. I'm going to have to make myself a junk journal with this stuff and use the leftovers for other junk journals. And what else? <clears throat> My mom collected some paper dolls. I like paper dolls, so she gave me some of hers. She cut hers out. So here's a whole little packet of... Oh, I think I have this book. It's a reproduction. These are reproductions. They're not vintage, but they're reproductions of vintage paper dolls. And I can't remember this family's name, but there's a lot of paper dolls and outfits in here. So she gave me those. And she gave me these larger dolls. I might even have this book, too. And they're all cut out. There's Dolly Dingle on the back. So I'll use those for something. And she gave me some, oh, some doilies. She gave me some vintage postcards. I didn't realize that she collected those. 
This is a book about Old Glory, but the images are really cool. Like images of vintage postcards. And then these are the vintage postcards that she had. Easter. I love that rooster. Some Christmas. Um, birthday. Christmas. There's quite a few here. Another Easter. I love that one. Valentine. This one just says many happy returns of the day, Christmas, and birthday. So there's quite a few there. I'll use them for sure. She gave me this doily. I don't know if it's a kind of doily that I would use in a journal, and it's kind of stained, so I probably won't use it. I might be able to cut some pieces off it and use it in some of my journals, and then this piece. She did, she crocheted doilies too, but I don't think she did this one. But I remember when I was a kid, she made those pineapple doilies. Some Princess Diana stamps. And some books. The American State Fair. So this has some pretty cool images. My parents had, I don't even know how many books. It was a real shame because we had to throw a lot of them in the dumpster. But we're a family of book lovers, so I took some, my brother took some, but a lot of them went in the dumpster. Water Babies and Peter Pan. So there's some really neat images in there, too. Um, <clears throat> American Heritage Pictorial Atlas, and you know there's good pictures in here. Good map pages. So now I have quite a few atlases. I'm going to have to start giving away map pages. Pennsylvania, 1776. There's good images in here. That's cool. I might read, read some of that anyway. Since I live in Pennsylvania, I should read about it. And this is huge. Uh-oh, it's another atlas. Collier's World Atlas and Gazette. Isn't that a gorgeous book? Let me see how big this is. It is 14 and a half inches long and 11 and a half inches wide. That is a big book and it's old. My dad would buy books at uh, used bookstores all the time. 1943, but these colors are so pretty. They just, it just looks vintage because that's what they are. Such nice pages. And we're almost done. She was going to throw this away. This was in a pile of trash. Really nice ledger paper. It's not vintage. Uh, wait, this is mine. This is the this is the one she was going to throw away. This one is uh, 1993, so I wouldn't call that vintage, but it's really nice paper. And there's a lot there. And I use the modern stuff. And more file folders. And this was awesome. So this, I found this on my last day there, our final day of clearing out in the garage upstairs. And it's a 1947 Girl Scout calendar. I love these images. They kind of look like photographs, but they're kind of, they kind of look like paintings. So I don't know if they were painted over photographs or what. But they're really nice. And then this I also found on that last day. 1972 Needles and Thread. So there's some cool advertising and images in here. Oh, and something really cool I found in here. If I can find it quickly. There. My mother made me this dress. I had it in orange gingham. I loved it. And there's the pattern. So my mom did all kinds of things. She painted. Well, she didn't really paint. start painting until after we were all out of the house. But she sewed, crocheted, uh, embroidered. She did all kinds of things, and she's a good cook. I found this, which is a drawing that I made. Um, from an old black and white photograph of my brothers. <laughs> so that was cool. I did that when I was a teenager, when I was 18 years old. Um, and then this, 
Night Before Christmas book. I don't know if I'll use it. But, and it looks like it got chewed by something. But eh, I thought I'll throw it in my pile. And then this Mechanical Engineer's reference tables. Again, sorry. Again, I thought I could use it for backgrounds. And I think that does it. That's what I got from my parents. So that was a lot of stuff to bring home. So I hope that you enjoyed seeing all that stuff. And um, you'll maybe see what I do with it in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.